Now depending on what your boundary conditions are that will determine how you uh, how you bring them into the system and how you include them but in this case we were actually given the temperature at each of the endpoints here that's represented so T1 was equal to 40 and T5 was equal to 200. Okay so uh, this is sort of a problem because and then T1 uh, okay so T1 and T5 are, are represented as unknowns here but they're not unknowns they're actually knowns and these uh, dt x1 dx these are the unknowns right and so okay well this is sort of a problem but uh, we can basically just swap these now we can't swap them out without carrying out the multiplication so we have to multiply uh, this matrix out and we don't have to multiply it all the way out but we at least have to multiply it out uh, so that we can see let's see t1 uh, times 0.4 uh, and so we're gonna have to do that plus okay t2 times so we don't have to do that but then on the second one equation so so we'll have plus t1 times 0.4 and so that 0.4 times t1 that's gonna have to go to the other side of the uh, to the other side of the equation uh, we also have a t1 times a minus 0.4 that's going to have to go to the other side of the equation as well. So we have to do that, um, and that's going to affect then these two entries for this one. And again, uh, similar situation with T5, and it looks like, let's see, T5, yeah, that's going to be these two. That's going to affect these two entries, and so we're going to have to uh, subtract over. So these are going to look, so both of these on the right hand side are going to look a little bit different. Both of these on the right hand side are going to look a little bit different. And then we'll have this dtx1. This one will be positive right here in our in our um, in our solution vector. We'll have a we should just have a one over here then. And then this one over here when we move it to the other side it'll become negative. And so we should have a minus one here. And, and this will be gone because it's going to get rolled into the coefficient on this side. And we'll have a minus one here in the dt5 uh, dx1. And you can see. Uh, carrying that out, this is this is what happens in this situation. So, uh, like I said, this this is going to be modified. It looks like it comes out to be uh, minus 3.5 and 41. These first two entries are changed. The middle one is left alone because it wasn't affected. And if this had been larger, uh, more segments, it really just would have been the first two and the last two. If if we had this nice uh, triadiagonal system like we do, uh, it would have been the first two and the last two that are affected. And again, these two were affected, uh, but not the others. So hopefully you see uh, that's how we can include the boundary conditions. If it, if it, Again, if it had been derivative boundary conditions given, we could have just put them right into here, and, and we would have been ready to go. Uh, so that is incorporating boundary conditions into the problem.